Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to my channel. In this overview video, I'm going to cover the building of a really cool Live Edge coffee table starting from this great big slab of Live Edge lumber. This is an overview project video, but I also have a five part series where I go into a lot more detail. So here I'm taking and ripping down that rough lumber that I'm cutting in multiple strips. Each of these strips, once cut down to size, are going to go through the planer. Uh, they were flat enough I was able to skip plane them to nice and flat and smooth. I then cut in domino mortises to glue these two pieces together to create what, what looks like one large live edge slab of the width I wanted it to be for the purpose of this table. This was useful not only because the starting boards that I had weren't as wide as I wanted, but also having cut them down allowed them to fit through my planer, which this full width uh, would not. After the glue was dry, I trimmed the end square and then cut off the two end pieces that are going to waterfall down the side with continuous grain wrapping all the way around the table. These miter joints are reinforced with 5 millimeter dominoes. And dominoes are also used to join the shelf uh, to the sides of the table. I added live edge spacers between the shelf and the top. These are also going to serve as the sides of the drawer, so the two side openings are going to be left open with a drawer to go in the middle. And these are joined to the top as well as the shelf, also using dominoes. I did some pre-sanding up to 320 grit. And some pre-finishing using Danish oil everywhere except where there are going to be glue joints. And you can see here I used some blue tape to protect those so I had raw wood for the glue uh, to adhere against. After dry assembling the, the drawer box, I screwed in the drawer slides. These are soft closed drawer slides. And once they were screwed in, I could then pop them back out. This project involved a number of tricky glue ups. Uh, here, I'm putting in the drawer sides or the separators between the top and bottom um, first. This was a glue joint where the use of bow clamps was super helpful to allow me to create pressure all the way across the joint without being able to apply clamps in the middle of the joint just at the ends. Now 
The next task was to glue on the top. There were an awful lot of dominoes to line up here, uh, which made me a little nervous heading in. And again, I took advantage of the bow clamps to put nice pressure continuously all the way across the length of that long glue joint. Now for the really tricky glue ups. So I knew I was nervous about this, knew it was going to take some time, so I chose to use epoxy to give me an awful lot more open time. One of the reasons this is tricky is that the joints of the shelf are perpendicular to the sides, whereas the top joins at a miter. So these are at 45 degrees to one another. Uh, I knew from testing previously that I was going to be able to do this on a smaller piece. There was just enough flex in the shelf to allow me to get them to come together. Uh, but I certainly wasn't very comfortable heading into this. Uh, this, this was a stressful day. And boom, there it goes closed. For the drawer box construction, I went fairly simple. It's just all plywood, half inch for the sides, quarter inch for the bottom. Grooves being cut here for the bottom to slide into. And to start, it's all simply glued up with just butt joints. That's going to be reinforced in a second, but because it's all plywood to plywood, I'm not worried about wood movement, and I'm able to glue the bottom in, uh, which makes for a very strong box. Next for one of my favorite tricks to reinforce these drawer boxes, I cut domino mortises through the sides and into the end. Next I glue and pound in homemade cherry dominoes which then get trimmed flush. Starting to head into the home stretch, I route a nice decorative edge on the drawer faces. So these drawer faces are spalted maple. The drawer boxes then get screwed into the drawer slides and here you can see uh, those dominoes. I think they make for an attractive look as well as a nice reinforcement to these drawer boxes. Over the lathe I turn two knobs out of walnut. One is for the drawer face and the other four is for the face of the false drawer on the back side of the coffee table. After allowing plenty of time for the Danish oil to cure, I then sprayed on a waterborne semi-gloss polyurethane using my HVLP sprayer. I did my very best to get clean, even coats and sanded with 320 grit between each to knock down the high points. I lost track, but I put approximately 10 coats on the surface. The 
The drawer faces are temporarily held in place with hot glue. And then permanently with screws from the inside. And here's the finished product in place, sitting in our family room, for our family and for our cats to enjoy for years and years to come. Thanks for watching.